guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me i am milk and this is milk astrology and today we're going to be doing another weekly tarot reading for your zodiac signs but we're also going to be doing the sailor moon giveaway i will be announcing the lucky winners for all of these fun things i have the palette i have lip uh lip sets kits i have some glitter i have individual lip sets as well so uh i think i'm going to be having like several winners be deciding on the spot at the end of this video yeah for air signs this reading is for you please apply your rising sign but you can also apply your sun moon mars or venus i just feel like the rising sign will be the most accurate and i have the star reversed so i feel like with this coming up for this week especially in the middle of a pandemic i really want to stress going that extra mile or that extra above and beyond this week specifically to wash your hands uh be careful with social distancing always wear a mask because this card usually sometimes can mean uh getting sick so i don't want to scare you i just think that you need to be extra cautious according to the universe and everything that's going on this year this is cause for taking that extra precaution and then I also have the hanged woman. So I feel like you're in this sense of just being trapped right now. I feel like you feel a bit stuck within your current surroundings. I just feel like you're being stagnant or you're just going through this kind of frustration. I feel like maybe you've been locked up in your house for so long and it's just making you stir crazy or you're getting fatigued and then i also have death reverse so it feels like you're really holding on to something or someone that isn't necessarily helping or benefiting you it's not really helping you release what you need to in order to move forward from this uh i think that you're about to have something very intense happen to you in a sense of needing to close a chapter in your life and start a new one um but i think you're very stubborn right now and i don't think this is something that you want to do or admit that you have to do i also have the magician reversed and i feel like this card when this card is pulled either you're not entirely being truthful with people or they could be in a little bit calculated towards you so this is definitely a card to really approach with caution i feel like this week in general you're being hit with a lot of tension, a lot of internal misalignments. And I feel like the biggest issue is that you're not doing everything that you can to move forward from a situation. I feel like maybe you're being nostalgic right now, or maybe you're just really stuck in your head. And I think your relationships are a little bit stagnant or suffering because of this. I think you're going through so much internal warfare that you're not even able to communicate your needs to other people and i think it's also incredibly important that maybe you do feel slighted by someone this week maybe i feel like you get your hopes up and someone disappoints you but you don't tell them maybe you keep it to yourself i feel like this is definitely not the week to keep things to yourself this is the week to express yourself to communicate what you need to be honest if you feel frustrated about something because I don't think you staying in this like stagnant element of settling, I feel like you're settling for less than you deserve and I feel like you need to step up and admit hey like this isn't okay or hey I actually deserve better or I feel like you need to be more respectful to yourself this week. And again I feel like the start this doesn't have to mean physical illness or getting sick it could just mean that you're mentally in a very weird headspace and it's weighing on your mental health because you're refusing to i don't want to say refusing to get help because that could sound very uh go into mental health and i'm not a specialist so i don't want to give advice on that but i do feel like there's something that is in your control and i'm talking about like physical things in your life the clothes that you're wearing the options of food that you can eat uh the people that you choose, actively choose to keep in your life. Those are all choices that I think that you've been not necessarily doing anything about. I feel like this is more about relationships and your overall well-being. And overall, I just feel like you are settling for less than you deserve. And I don't feel like you're trying to get the answers or get the affirmation that you know you're deserving of. Uh, I feel like you're just a bit, I wanna say, 
stagnant. And at the same time, like it's okay to not be action packed, to be goal oriented, to be constantly hiking Mount Everest. I'm not saying that you have to be the most uh, productive right now. I don't think you need to be productive at all. I just feel like you need to be honest about what you're not okay with. Cause I feel like you're taking more of someone's flack than you should be. And I think that you need to be assertive with what you're no longer going to tolerate in your life. So this is kind of the overall consensus for this week. I do think that there could be some very healthy uh, breakthroughs though, once you start demanding what you deserve. So overall, that completes this week's video for air signs. Air signs, if you liked this, please comment below, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. I post new videos once a week. And don't forget to let me know what you thought about it, if it was accurate, if it wasn't accurate. I just wanna know your thoughts. And I will see you in my next week's video. For earth signs, this is for Capricorn, Virgo, and I almost said Aquarius. Uh, this is for Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Uh, if you are one of those signs this reading is for you, please apply your rising sign, but you can apply your sun, moon, Mars, or Venus. I just feel like the rising sign will be the most accurate. So I have eight of wands and this means it's reversed. So I feel like you're going through something that isn't happening fast enough. I feel like there's also been this consistent theme in the past few weeks for you where you've been really looking forward to something and it's just not happening the way that you want it to. There's been some delays, you're getting frustrated and things are just making you feel discouraged. I also have nine of wands. You're being challenged, you're being kind of called to act on something or stand for something. And I think that it is something that initially makes you uncomfortable, but I do think you feel grateful for taking that step, putting yourself out there and really challenging yourself I feel like this is about testing your courage and your bravery and your strength and this is something that also is testing your patience. I have the lovers reversed so now I'm starting to think that this is about a relationship dynamic although this doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be about a relationship it could be about circumstances in your life that you're facing it could be about a situation at your job but I do feel like you're trying so hard to give something everything that you have and you're not getting the results that you're looking for and in a sense I do feel like it is about patience I feel like you're not really giving the situation enough patience that you need to but I also do feel like you are selling yourself short. I have 10 of cups reversed and I do feel like essentially you're over invested in so many things that are not always benefiting you and I feel like you don't really want to face that. You don't really want to hear that because I think you are someone that is so dedicated that when you commit to something you take your time to evaluate and assess if it's worth it. So to have to go through it or pick a decision, uh, actively choose something and then figure out later on that maybe it was the wrong decision. I feel like that is a lot for you. Um, and I feel like that's probably why you're putting off having to make, I don't know, quit something that you started. I feel like you are in this phase where you're ready to shed some skin. You're ready to start a new chapter in your life or close a door of your life. And I feel like as much as you know you're ready, I feel like you're also holding yourself back. I think maybe there could be some emotional attachment to this. It could be selling your car and getting a new one. Maybe you just have a lot of attachment to your car. Maybe it's about a, a situation with your house or with someone you love. Um, I just feel like this overall reading tells me that you're being challenged, you're being tested, and you need to be patient, but you also need to admit when you're over-invested or the things that you're invested in are no longer good investments for you. I feel like I talk really fast. But uh, yeah, so that was the overall consensus for Earth Signs. If you, am I so branded? Earth Signs, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below and tell me if this was accurate, if this wasn't accurate. Uh, also, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on all of your post notifications. I post only once a week, so I won't bother you too much. And I'll see you in my next video. So for fire signs, this reading is for you, uh, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. I would prefer that you apply your rising sign, but you can apply your sun, moon, Mars, or Venus. I just feel like the rising sign will be the most accurate for you. I have the chariot, which is talking about you going on a new journey right now. I feel like you're going to start something different for yourself. If you're quarantined and you're looking at this card, you're probably laughing because you're like, I can't travel anywhere. Well, maybe this doesn't have to mean traveling necessarily physically as much as maybe you're just starting something new. Like it could be a new job. It could be going back to online school or uh, starting a new hobby at home. It doesn't necessarily have to mean like you're going to travel the seven seas i just think that you are going to start something new and i think you're very excited about it this does seem like something that 
is very optimistic for you. So there's a lot of overall just good energy this week. It could also be the fact that it's Leo season now. I don't know, but I also have, uh, just what I thought this was gonna be a good reading. I also have six of wands reversed. So I feel like, and two of wands reversed. So I feel like there is a sense of needing to reassess a dynamic in your life. I feel like maybe you're going about something the wrong way or you're not necessarily taking your time to look at the bigger picture. I think maybe you're making decisions very hastily or jumping in too soon and that's why your reputation could be suffering right now. You could be facing some backlash with a decision that you made with your peers or your coworkers or people in your life. And I think that maybe this is you're just trying to leave a situation versus you being excited to start something new. Maybe you're running away from something. I also just feel like you're not really looking at the big picture right now. I feel like you're excited um, or restless. And I think that this is giving you a bit of tunnel vision. Now again though, like maybe you are starting something that you're excited about and maybe people in your life are being negative about it or your reputation seems to be like a bit compromised over it, but maybe you're just embracing that you don't care what people think. Uh, this could all be factors in this reading because it is a general reading. But I also have a uh, Five of Swords reversed and I do feel like this is about you needing to reconcile with someone right now. I feel like there was a very big fight. I feel like it was very intense. I feel like uh, there's a huge sense of somberness to this reading. So I feel like maybe you acted hastily and now you owe someone an apology. I feel like this is about either forgiveness or about um, apologizing. I just feel like you've, maybe there was a situation with someone that you really cared about and it's worth salvaging for you. Um, and I do feel like this is about you guys trying to meet in the middle or have a shared perspective because I don't think you necessarily did anything with bad intentions. This doesn't look like an, a spread where you were necessarily selfish. I just feel like you get excited and you get passionate and then you get carried away. So this doesn't necessarily seem like something that you would be super in like the wrong for. I don't also even see ne necessarily someone being super hostile or weird towards you. I just think there's a sense this week of you not slowing down and looking at the big picture. So maybe you should slow down and look at the big picture. But yeah, overall that was my reading for Fire Signs. If you guys liked this reading, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I post new videos only once a week, so please just hit that all post notifications button. I won't bother you too much, and I'll see you in my next video. Water signs, this reading is for you. Water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. I would prefer that you apply your rising sign, but you can apply your sun, moon, Mars, or Venus. I just feel like the rising sign will be the most accurate for you. And I have Seven of Wands, so it looks like you're being challenged, you're being tested. Someone is really trying to defy you or trying to just, you have to step up right now. Like there's a sense of this week, you really have to someone like is testing your limits and you need to establish your boundaries or stand your ground like this person is clearly firm in who they are they're ready to kind of fight so i feel like you're planted in that you have princes of pentacles it looks like you're really uh looking to invest in yourself you're looking to help others or give something to others i feel like you've been constantly trying to settle your finances or save better i feel like you've been really trying to look at the bigger picture and help and your goals and life according to that but i also have seven of cups and seven of pentacles reversed so i feel like you could be so overextended that you're not seeing the things that you're investing in or choosing aren't necessarily suitable or helpful to you. I feel like uh, you, your attention is split into so many directions that you're not able to give one thing all of your attention or your focus. And this is why you're feeling so tired at times or drained. I feel like maybe you really believed in something and maybe it just wasn't a suitable investment for you. And I think you're having to kind of reevaluate that or I think you're having to face that. I do think that you're ready to fight for what you believe in. I think you're ready to take a stand or invest in what you want. But I think you also are a bit confused with what you want. And I think you need to make sure that this uh, doesn't clash with one another because I see that you're trying to make so many things work out for you that you're in a way letting them all suffer. Uh, you need to make sure that your attention span isn't so split that everything that you're doing or trying to do suffers because of that. Um, and I, again, like I do see like your, your heart is in the right place. I think you're being tested right now. I think your patience is being tested right now. 
Um, and I don't necessarily think it was wrong of you to try to do so many things at once. I just think that you need to admit when you're overwhelmed and you need to admit when you need help and that's okay, like you're human. But I just think that you're so independent sometimes that you don't necessarily like to do that. You could meet a bit of pushback or struggle if you continue to go with the direction that you're going in. So I just really think that you need to slow down and evaluate what you feel is worth your time and energy because it looks like you're, you're a bit confused this week. I feel like you're trying to do so many things at once that you aren't able to do anything um, and this could make you very tired and drained and fatigued. So making sure that you really make that time and that you're not so focused on so much that you're not focused on anything at all. I know this one's kind of weird, but I just feel like uh, take something off your plate this week. Uh, you don't need to do it all and you should ask for help when you need it. So that is my reading for you guys. Overall, if you liked this reading water signs, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Turn on all of your post notifications because I only post once a week, so I won't bother you too much. And uh, like, comment below, tell me if you liked it, if you didn't like it, and I will see you in my next video. For Desoy, uh, I'm going to be commenting on this person's profile pretty shortly, but yeah, they won the ColourPop eyeshadow palette. This goes to Nia, and I'm super excited for her because she got all these lipsticks, all different colors. The winner of these lip kits and this glitter goes to MAC 1249. So I'm super excited because this is the, the best glitter in the world, and I love these lip kits so much. Congratulations, guys! Ryan Little. <laughs>